of that handshake. We just got done talking about the handshake. So what would be a great thing to do next? Let's do an introduction, shall we? That guy's show. going to take 30 seconds and the only things you're going to need is confidence a handshake and a friendly smile so with this you pretty much need um five things and pretty much all you need is going to be the approach with confidence the smile the eye contact the meet the greet and there's variations on this this will will change soon and all will end it with the actual handshake itself. Now, if you need reference on the handshake, please check the last video. So, one, the approach with confidence. You want to have your shoulders back. At the same time, approach the person that you want to meet. Smile makes the best, great first impression. Now, you want to look them in the eye, but don't stare them down. And don't lock onto them. It's kind of strange and kind of creepy if you lock our lock eyes. Now, mind you, the last step, the handshake. Extending the handshake is both respectful and also professional. Uh, it shows that you are an open and friendly person. Again, you need reference. Check the last video. Now, when you're shaking someone's hand, you're not going to turn around and say, Hi, I'm Joe Strummer. And who the who are you? It's like saying, who the hell are you? You don't want to do that right off the bat. As general principle, the format of introducing should be involving introducing less important people to more important people. You get them connected. And believe it or not, the furthermore of this is is that introducing or introductions are phased to reflect the fact that less important people should consider this somewhat of a privilege that you're inducing them to other people. In a certain way, it'd be like, uh, uh, Genevieve, I would like you to introduce, you know, my wife, Jennifer Lopez. My wife, Jennifer Lopez, I would like you to meet my Persian mistress, Genevieve. Also, the correct formation of the introduction is also important. Sort of like if you met the president, the president of the United States. You address him as Mr. President. Like, Mr. President, I would like to introduce my daughter, Mavis, uh, to meet you. Uh, Mavis, this is... Mr. G.W., uh, our nation's 43rd president. No! You always refer him to him as Mr. President. It's a polite and respectful thing to do. So, we're talking about formations and introductions. The co incorrect way of introducing someone would be like, um, Mick, I would like you to meet Shlomo. Shlomo is my cousin from Jersey, and uh, Shlomo, this is Mick Jagger. He's also a singer. The only thing I would think would be a tough call would be uh, introducing two people would be like, Larry King, this is Phil Stiller, or do you go, Phil Stiller, this is Larry King. Depends on the situation, I guess. Now, introducing yourself by name to people who should remember who you are is the gentlemanly thing to do. Why? Because everybody, including yourself, has forgotten somebody's name. It happens now and then, okay? You're human. And also, deliberately making someone squirm because they forgot your name 
is kind of spiteful and unbro like. So I'll give you this homely G tip right here. If you forgot someone's name, you can do what I do and try to over hear them in another conversation while they're inducing themselves, their selves. And then when they're done, politely go up and introduce yourself with their name. It works. Now, failing, failing that, you can always forget someone's name, confess immediately, uh, apologize, um, tell them that it's, you're stressed out about the IRS or um, the cranial operation that you had it left you uh, kind of hazy. But pop quiz, what was wrong with that? And I'm glad you asked. Because one, you never talk about or discuss personal finances or health issues because it just seems kind of awkward. And it, it goes from, it, and it tends to make everything go from sad to nauseating. And so just try to confess and say I'm forgetful and I'll apologize and stop. There. And here's a good rule of thumb. If you constantly forget this person's name, that person is not as critical or um, as you would think as remembering their names. So it's not critically important. Don't feel bad. A lot of people are not really critically important. Now, you might be thinking, is this a perfect time to give somebody my business card? Business card. Because it's a business function. Heck yeah. Uh meetings, conventions, uh, strategic luncheons, job interviews, plant visits. Yes. But it's not a good idea to hand out a business card would be social functions. Those would tend to be dates, uh, church, um, serv uh, church services, uh, your daughter's high school play, state, you know, state dinners. No. Multi pass. No, it's not multi pass. The business card. Business cards should be now one and three quarters inches high and three three and a half inches wide. Period. There's no jumbo business cards. No. Now, unless you have something like this right here, show that real quick, is an RF business card. So, you're in a rush, you don't have any more of these, you pull this sock sucker out, and you ask if they have NFC on their phone. If they do have it on your phone, click move on. This gives all their information right on their phone, and it's a great way for them to keep your phone number locked in, just in case they need to call you. It's a good idea. Also, Business cards, if you want to look professional, there's no your drawings. There's no pictures of any duckies and bunnies and stuff like that. You want to keep this professional. Now, on the subject of names, no nicknames. Since we're on the subject of nicknames and all that, the probation of all that, your workplace a fraternal organization, <sighs> such as being around the large campfire and, and everything is sacred. And and you're just waiting for the guy, you know, the new the new kid to come around and drink a beer dressed up as a toga. Your workplace is nothing like that. Also, on the subject of prohibitation of nicknames, that goes double for you, Mr. Leader of the Free World. So, in other words, you don't turn around and you go, Hey, uh, Fidel over here likes to be called Mr. Happy Pants. No. <laughs> now, some of the names you shouldn't call your colleagues regarding their junior executive status would be Kid, Kiddo, Junior, Punky, or even Boo Boo. And really, 
Nobody wants to be called kid, kiddo, junior, punky, even boo-boo. And here's the thing. If you're just trying to do that just to show off your seniority, and trust me, they they know your seniority. Who in the world are you trying to impress calling them nicknames? They have real names. Then when I think about it, boo-boo is kind of cute. You can call me boo-boo. Thank you. Now, mind you, the word cute is only used in reference to kids and puppies. The only other time I can think that there's a fine line would be addressing your boss. Not all bosses want to be referred to as this is my boss right here. Because it sort of sounds like, you know, he's part of a chain gang and all that. Um, but then also, you also got to remember, um, your boss might be female. And some females don't want to be known or be called boss. They also don't want to be known as the big man, the alpha dog, the 800-pound Kuna Huna Hui. Why? Because she wears the proverbial pants in the office. The boogie boogie pants, I don't know. I'll explain those pants in a later episode, in a later video. Also, the boss should not be referred to as dude. Even if your boss doesn't mind being called dude, you still shouldn't call him dude. It sort of messes the, uh, uh, the hierarchy of charts because at work, he's your boss. He's not your friend. You got to impress your boss first. Then outside of work, you can impress your friends, but not like that you're going to hang around your boss after work. Also, you don't want to refer to any boss, even if it's a female dude, because you don't want to cause feelings just in case that time comes when they have to fire you, dude. And trust me, calling her dude will not prevent you from being fired. What do you mean, dude? Then I'm fired. What? So, I hope that this has helped you with introductions and all that. And if any of these videos worked out well for you and you've tried them and they're successful, please do a like, comment, and share on these pages and uh, become a fan. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Somewhere around here, I don't know. Uh, hit the subscribe button because we'll try to get as many guy knowledge videos out as we can. Uh, until next time, peace. May the best be with you. See ya.